number of risks on the African continent have seen foreign direct investment in mining decline. That's the view of consults consultancy group Grant Thornton. However, it says as infrastructure improves, so too will investment. Mineral Resources Minister Susan Shabangu is attending the mining in Daba in Cape Town today. Shabangu told the delegation of African mining ministers that the continent's natural resource endowment had the potential to eliminate poverty and inequality. The mining in Daba is hosting up to 7,800 delegates this year, proof of the interest in African mining. While it's agreed that the potential to exploit African natural resources is huge, there are constraints in doing so. Some of these include lack of infrastructure, political risk and energy. Grant Thornton argues that these risks are pushing investment funds elsewhere. There is a lot of money gushing around in Asia, but unfortunately not all of it is gushing towards Africa. I think they're finding some very interesting projects in South America where there's less political risk. So there certainly is money that's going into um, the mining industry, but the, there's, there's certainly a slowdown for investment in Africa. But speaking to a Council of African Ministers, Minister Susan Shabangu highlighted the brighter side of things. She said the potential for mineral development in Africa was unparalleled and warned against reckless investors who sought to only extract from the continent to make a quick buck at the expense of the African population. Non Pumerilo Siziba, SABC News, Cape Town.